Hello Skippy lovers, hope you're all well. Uh, nice to be back to do a almost alien track guide. I've not done one for a few weeks. I didn't bother with Lime Rock because I'm about as fast there as a slug with a cold. Um, Mossport, I was getting used to the new build because it is definitely different. Um, I didn't do one for Donington because I was lazy because I didn't obviously did one last season. Probably should have because the new build is significantly different. The car is noticeably much better in left-handers now and it, uh, it is displaying some different characteristics on corner exits. Anyway, I'll do Sebring Modified. I've done about an 18.7, I think, which is about 0.3 off an alien time, so it's a decent representation of a good lap that will make you competitive. Um, I'm not an expert around this track by any means. I've copied a lot of Philippe's tips that, he, that he's put on the uh, forum. Thanks, Philippe. Um, so hopefully it'll be helpful. I'll do a lap with a few uh, pointers and then a lap at full speed. So this is the exciting turn one uh, at Sebring, it's a fast corner, it's fourth gear, looks fast, is fast and it's difficult to pick a line. At this point you can't see the apex, you're going to have to start braking just after the yellow line ends, a little bit after that, I, there's no definite braking point, there's a lot of feel involved. Um, it's a quick stab on the brakes and down to fourth. I don't think I actually brake quite hard enough on this lap, I'd rather brake a little bit harder and sharper, sharper and briefer. Uh, briefer, more briefly, and then get back on the power. But anyway, the, you need to get the car slowed down just enough to allow you to roll up to the apex, and you should be bang on the gas at the apex, which is a red cone. You can just see it, and it's sticking in the wall just there. You'll see it when we get to it. temptation is to really floor it and you've just got to be a little bit delicate. If you run wide here you are visiting the barriers. The next corner it's turn two and three. It's a double apex right hander a bit like the one at um, uh, the name escapes me, Sonoma. Uh, you basically break between the three and the two cone on the left here. Use all this extra track on the left um, and then turn in a little bit earlier than you think. When you get to the middle of the corner you'll need a brief lift just to help slow the car down and rotate and then you'll be able to accelerate away. It's a tricky corner, complex, but you do need to get it right. As you can see I used all the kerb on the left, you, which you do need to do. This next section is quite straightforward, it's flat until this left hander coming up is flat and then there's a right hander which we will need to break and get down into third, fourth. Um, it's tempting here to cut a lot of kerb on the right, you don't really want to do that because it's raised, if you drop over the edge of it, it makes getting back on the track not very smooth and it doesn't really do wonders for the balance of the car so if anything you turn in a bit later and you think here, get the car nice and squared up you'll need to uh, just come off the throttle a little bit longer than you perhaps want to but get the car squared up so that you're in a straight line for the next left which uh, leads into the right hand corner onto the straight which is the most important corner. If anything I was a bit leery around there and probably lost a bit of time. Right this next right hander is key. You need to, This is a compromised left, you won't go th th through here as quick as you can because you don't want to. You need to get the car set up for the right hander onto the straight. Uh, there's a white line, hopefully you'll see my mouse cursor just there. Get, get, get all the car over to the left of that and as soon as you've done that you need to start thinking about turning right. Um, if anything, if anything, when you get to this point you want to be aiming at the left, just left of the end of the tyre wall. That gives you an idea of where to point the car. But the key is as soon as you're over the white line to start turning you're actually going against the camber of the track so you need to be patient, square the car up and be pretty patient with the throttle. If you floor it you'll probably run out of road on the left. So it's a key corner, it's a lot of feel and balance involved, but it is important you get it right because obviously it leads on to the uh, super long straight. I probably could have done that a bit quicker, uh, and it's probably cost me a tenth or so down the straight. But the important thing is you don't run out of road on the left and don't go off because if you do it can actually spit you into the barriers on the right. Uh, so now we've got a pretty boring straight with the final corner coming up. <laughs> the 
this is a classic trail breaking, uh, um, trail breaking, uh, threshold breaking corner. Although you do need to trail break up to the apex, you break at the four cone or just after it, down from fifth to second, turn in at the last cone. And the important thing here is not to get too much of the car over the white line here. The white line, the apex of the white line is your is your apex. But if you put too much of the car over it, you'll get a slowdown. It's a bit of a balancing act. Um, whole car you'll definitely get a slowdown two thirds of the car you'll probably be all right there'll be some frustrating slowdowns there this week not a lot you can do about it perhaps in the race but you've just got to cut it as fine as you can because the trouble is if you don't you'll you'll sacrifice a lot of speed into the next complex <laughs> need to get quite close to the wall here get your left tire running through the shadow there's a massive bump just here so if you run over that you know you've got the right line and there's no need to track out here you're at full throttle there's no grip issues there's no need to track out to the left here so just keep the car running through the middle of the line under the bridge There we go, like I say, a, a de half decent 18.7, it's not going to win your pole probably, but it'll be competitive if you can do laps around that uh, mark consistently. Uh, I'll just run the full lap for you and hopefully that will be helpful again. There you go, that's a lap of Sebring Modified in the Skippy. Hope uh, it was helpful, and I'll see you on track this week. Bye.